Pacer Nation. This is Armando here, about to watch the NFL first round of the draft. And uh, I'm going to do the Angry Italian. This will be the first of many Angry Italian series. Um, and I don't know, the first round can get boring. So it might be just the bitter Italian or the indifferent Italian. But I'll try to make it angry. I'll try to get upset at some things. I'm sure I will. There'll be a few things that I'll be upset about. But this is the Angry Italian. Let's get over to the first round. Let's see what happens. Did the Giants just literally take Daniel Jones? <laughs> Good luck setting your franchise back 10 years, fuckers. Hey, Raiders fans. That was a good pick. But you guys fucked up that pick in the offseason last year when you traded away Mac because you could have gotten somebody else for, with this pick. Just saying. So the Steelers just traded with the Broncos, and they traded up. We'll see who the Steelers take. But, Lou, your, your team's on notice. Devin Bush, Pittsburgh. You're looking for another linebacker, you got him. I can't say whether that's a good pick or not. I think it'll be fun. I don't know if I would have traded all the way up for him, but Lou, you're still you're still on notice. Your Steelers are still on notice. Two things I love. Christian Wilkins, the defensive tackle taken from Clemson, Miami, good pick. And two, he almost killed the commissioner on stage. I'm down with both of those things. Dwayne Haskins, Washington Redskins. Good pick, guys. I don't know why the Giants passed on Dwayne Haskins, but... Daniel Jones is going to set back their franchise another 10 years. Redskins, you guys made a good pick. Don't ruin him. Okay, I got a quick question. Whenever anybody's drafted, why is that guy always super special? Here's another thing. What the fuck is with the... First of all, it's an outdoor venue at the draft this year. Great, that's fine. What the fuck is with the band? Like, bands haven't been a thing since, like, the, the 80s and 90s wedding bands. What the fuck do you have a band on stage for the NFL draft for? Like, I get it. It's the NFL draft. It's a big thing. A lot of people are watching. But really, a live band? Dude, just play some elevator music in between commercial breaks. Do you really need the live band playing fucking Stevie Ray Vaughan tunes? Okay. So, apparently the whole live music thing is because they're in Nashville. That's fine. If you're in Kansas City, you're going to have beef brisket on the fucking stage. Cut the shit with the live bands. Come on, NFL. You're better than that. By the way, can Steve Smith be more annoying? I don't hear anything when he starts to talk. I just... I, 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 I. He has literally the worst analysis on of, from, from anybody. And I don't even watch ESPN. He has the worst analysis than anybody on NFL Network, ESPN. I, there's people that don't know anything about football that have better analysis than him. Steve Smith just pisses me off. He needs to shut the hell up. All right. Here's the deal. Draft is almost over. We're at the uh, the Chargers pick at 28. Seahawks have two picks, I think, back to back, and then you got the uh, the Rams and the Char or the uh, Rams and the Patriots. I think it's just gonna go and be boring. Overall, first round, pretty boring, which for most fans should be just great. If your pick was boring, high fives to you. The picks should be boring. Don't go after skill positions and that kind of thing. I like the Dolphins pick. 
In fact, after looking at it, I really like the really like really like the Dolphins pick. Um, and after about uh, five or six IPAs in the first round, give the NFL draft a thumbs up overall for the picks. Uh, as far as the band, as far as Steve Smith, uh, as far as everyone being special and Rich Eisen being a little uh, tipsy, um, I give that kind of a thumbs down. But uh, overall, I give the first round a, a thumbs up. But we'll do a first round recap at some point soon on the Gas Up the Pacer podcast. So keep your uh, keep your ears open and your eyes peeled. Peace.